Ah, good morning, everybody. We've got a nice, fresh six hours of sleep, and we're ready to go. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Cole. It's the third week of harvest, day 92. How's stuff going? It's going very, very slow, I guess. But we're moving along. That's the main thing. Our bin people that are working on our floors in our bins, they're about half done with the floors. The, uh, oh, what do you call them darn things? The supports. The supports that the floor sits on. They only sent out half of them, so and now they're waiting for floor support. Hey, our concrete cube looks pretty good. And our crack right down the middle. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Huh, there's a crack right down the middle. How'd that get there? <laughs> hey, Cooper, look at this. <laughs> it didn't fall in. Whoa, Coop. Do I need to get over a little bit, or are we all right? Yeah. Ready? Tell me I'm okay. You're okay. And she's definitely a little tight. It's going to work. Focus, focus, focus! There I am! We're out here in the field. I'm joining up with Cooper. He should be here in a few minutes. He went off to get a few parts. I'm gonna go ahead and check the oil, check the radiator fluid, kinda make sure everything's ready to roll. What Cooper is trying to do, borrowing some plates, putting these little skid plates underneath the bean head to try to give it a skid plate to kinda guide on. Alright, we're going to try it again. Just kind of sit back for a moment and enjoy some view from the combine cab. Well, that's slick. <laughs> oh, guys, we actually had our first good day today and I did not film any of it because it, it was very lackluster in events. So got out there this morning. We had a gentleman who works on Macdon heads come out. He got our head adjusted. It is riding like a dream now. So we ended up getting to combine for four hours before it started getting tough. We got 65 acres done to put that into perspective. Our best day we've had so far this year was 40 acres. So Felt really good. We're gonna hit it strong in the morning. My old roommate from college, he's coming back from Washington State. He's gonna hang out with us from tomorrow. The John Deere guy, the one who gave me that 8RX up there. So, uh, see you guys in the morning. What is this? I know it's not the Lambo that I promised last time, but uh, Man, these, it's these, all that they had in stock. <laughs> these new Dodges, are, there's something else. So if you guys don't remember, this is my old college roommate. This is Zach. He used to work at John Deere, but then he got caught stealing a bunch of stuff and selling it to Case. So yeah. now he is Finally unemployed and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, got, you did get out of prison. Yeah, I'm out of prison now, so... Good deal. Uh, How yeah, long did you your parole? Uh, yep, bro. So I can't be caught stealing things for at least like the next six years. How'd you get this car? Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Are you good? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I forgot, you ran a marathon yesterday. Are you being serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious, I really hate it. So this morning, we got Jim and his crew back. They're building some farms around our pit, so hopefully, they're gonna get some concrete poured today. You got any advice? No, none that's any good. You got a joke? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey what a ghost drive. Huh? You don't know what it is. No. Uh, Chevy Malibu. Jim thinks this is going to take about 20 yards of concrete, but he's wanted to do it in two pours because that's going to be a lot of weight on these plywood forms. And we got the welder guys over here going to town. They're getting that tube and flighting ready. So that way they can slap it on this one that comes out of the pit. That way they can get it connected up to the leg. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> our neighbor Scott rents a grain car from us every year for one of his fields, so he's hooking up to our old 674, and man, I will say, this thing is quite the difference compared to the 1396 we're running right now. This is the exact grain cart I learned how to drive grain cart on. Bring back memories. Oh, memories. <laughs> I like the new one so much better. Oh yeah, we're up there quite a little ways actually. Should have plenty of room for today though. I was figuring 400 acres would fit in here. So we're back in Mary Lewis today. We got 40 acres of this old CRP ground left over here. And then we got that little hill across the road. I got about five acres over there. Then we'll be completely done at Mary Lewis. And then we're gonna head over to Winona's. Zach, you've watched me make one lap across the field. You're up. You've driven a car before, right? Yeah. Okay. Just once or twice. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Can you plug it up? 
Well, I guess we might as well check it out together. Driving down the road and I heard a big boom. And I looked in the back and I could see all kinds of dust flying around. Ooh, maybe a little worse than I expected. Anyhow, we just blew a tire is what it looks like. She blew. Tire's looking a little weakish. Since dad blew a tire, he's gonna go to the tire shops. I'm gonna hop in the white semi, bring this back, go dump this, that way I can get back here and then hopefully the grain cart and combine won't sit too long. Just filled up the white semi, so Cole's gonna go ahead and take that one. He left me here to handle the grain cart, so I'm gonna run that. Figure you guys might as well watch the young man change the tires here. I had to show him which tire had the blowout. He walked around and walked around and couldn't find it. You're supposed to like put it in your mouth. Yeah, it's about 13% uh, moisture content right there. I can tell just by the way that it is. Definitely putting the 340 through its paces right now. We're going with about 49,000 pounds on us up a pretty steep hill. She's lugging down. We're probably not getting very good fuel economy right now. <laughs> getting close to being done over here though. I really like how soybean fields look when they're harvested. I better drive straight so I don't end up in those beans. Yeah, I got the new auto steer system. <laughs> it's the Zac 2.0. I also cost $100,000. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well climb the semi-trailer make sure there's beans in it because I've done that before where you take off, get home, and you look in there like, hey, there's nothing in there. So I'm double checking. Oh yeah, he's got her full. Yeehaw. Kind of feels like one of them nights. I think once the sun starts going down, probably going to get damp pretty quick. But hopefully, if things go good, Cooper will get this farm done. We just got done with the south side of Mary Lou's. There's 185 acres over there, so we're back on the north side of the road. We did this a few days ago. But we have the old area up there where the building site used to be. So right where Cooper's out with the combine, there used to be an old barn there. And there's a lot of little debris, so he's got to keep his eyes open so that way he doesn't run anything in the combine. Or break any sickles. So that's all we got left over here at Mary Lou's. Wait, did you take a Snapchat? <laughs> <Just a little video. laughs> this is uh, by far my favorite time, or, or like favorite time of the year in the Midwest. Just fall time in the Midwest is unbeatable. It's it's perfect. You get beautiful sunsets. You got the moon over here. It's a nice clear night. It gets nice and cool, but not like too cold. It's just a great feel, and the air is super crisp. It's just gorgeous and. I don't know. I, I love it. Where is it at? Where is it at? Huh? Little punk. Hiding under the track of the combine, huh? Huh? You think you're funny? You think you're funny? Huh. I like those apples. I used to throw a shot put back in the day. Did you know that? Ooh, that don't sound good. Air traffic control, we're clear for combining. See what kind of job the old wind system's doing. Any soybeans on the ground? Let's see if we can find one. See if we can find one. Not seeing any yet. Ah, found one. Found one soybean. The wind system's doing a good job. Since this whole building site used to be up here, Zach and I are gonna walk in front of the combine because there's stuff like this hiding in here. Looks like he caught a piece in the head, too. That don't belong in there. Feel like you have the better form for this. We're almost equal here. I think you beat me by three and a half inches. It was the uh, it was the rotation. I had the better form. Frisbee. Zach, catch this with your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Catch the brick. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, don't run the gun, my little buddy. All right, run, run. Strawberry smoothie from 3 o'clock. He's had this since lunchtime. Is this still good? It's kind of curdy. When there's a rock in the soybeans, who are you gonna call? Call the corn star. The big one right there. There's another big one right there. Oh, that's another one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big bird. We are done. You sound happy. Happy. 
happy. Yeah. I'm happy to be done here. I'll be happy when we're done with beans, because we have to plant half and half beans and corn. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done at Mary Lou's. Right now, loosen that bolt a little bit so it's not so stiff. On there? This, that one on each one. Okay, what are they, 5 eighths or? Probably, or? We're gonna head over to Winona's, I guess. But on that tractor, hey. <laughs> For some reason, when you turn the grain cart lights on and all the other lights on, we blow a fuse. So we're gonna unplug four lights on the back fenders of the tractor and then swap in a new fuse. So that way we can turn the lights on in the grain cart when we go down the road, so that way we have lights in the back. And also on that tractor, for some reason, when the flashers are on, you can't have the lights on at the same time. So this has an extend a hitch on it. So if you pull up on this black thing like this, it unhooks it from here and then you can slide it out like three feet. And then when it does that, then you gotta be sure to back up the truck to get it to lock back in there to get your hitch to lock into place. Anyone that steals my hitch out of my pickup and I find it in yours, and it's not put back after done, you do owe me $10. Do the lights work on this thing? It's brand new, shit. If anybody knows the remedy to this, I would really appreciate it. Because all we do is turn the flashers on, then our lights turn off. Like, that makes zero sense. This here's Rubber Duck, and I'm about to put the hammer down. That's the song. Convoy? Convoy! Whenever we get into a different field, we like to get out and make sure the combine is still performing the same because not every variety threshes through the combine the same way. This is definitely a lot less green than Mary Lou's was, at least that CRP on Mary Lou's. You got a bean rank there. It's doing a crazy good job of keeping beans off the ground. That's good. It's going to get maybe just a little bit tough. Yeah, I drove through the grass over there and my wheels got a little wet. Okay. He said he's tilting the head back a little to help. Wow, what are you doing over here? There's a rock stuck in here. These are the dangerous ones because these ones are small enough they can fit in through the throat and get into the rotor. What kind of rock is that, Zach? I don't know. Is that sedimentary, igneous? Uh, it's There's one marble. more. What's the other one? 17th time we've stopped today, yeah. but you know what they say, 17 times the charm. 